in the posts, if you actually go to the posting tab, you'll automatically be put into a new uh, blank blog entry, which is a nice feature. You can just start, you know, my first blog entry. And then you can tell people about the stuff you like. Boing. And then you can preview it. Oh, it's going to look like that. Then you can publish post, save now, turn to the list of posts, or do some post options like allow or don't allow reader comments, change the date and time of the post. And this is very important, actually. Um, this is a lot of what people don't do first off, and they should, which is um, which is labels for your post. And what labels do is labels um, allow you to tag and categorize your posts, your, your blog posts. So say you have um, a post about your latest techno track, you would you would have, let's say, change the title to uh, my first techno track. And notice the uh, the it's uh, Ajax app, so the um, Ajax is uh, JavaScript. Uh, what is it? Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. It just makes t pages more dynamic. Um, my first techno track, the uh, the title actually changes, you know, blah, 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 blah. Let me see it down below. Um, and say, if we hide the preview and we say, uh, I used rebirth and reason to create this ass kicking techno track. Point. Uh, you'd probably want, if you want to attract the uh, techno heads, you could put in your labels. Well, I talked about in this post, I talked about rebirth, I talked about reason, and I talked about techno. And just, you know, f you know three, four, five uh, labels. And the interesting thing about that is once you get uh, those labels in there, we go back to my blog. You can see that what you can do is I have an index of topics. So as you grow your blog, um, these index of topics be become very important in uh, allowing people to get directly to content that they want to see. For instance, I have an entry on Delta 66, the audio card. So if I click that index entry, I have this article about bringing the di digital audio workstation back to life. And uh, lo and behold, there's a uh, description of installing my M Audio Delta 66 card right next to an ad for waterless toilets. So that's nice. Um, so labels allow for this nice indexing, and you don't have to necessarily have as many as, have as many uh, categories as I do. I just get real specific because um, I think my audience, the people who like to read my blog, um, like the detail. So it's uh, this is categorized uh, in alphabetical order, but you can also categorize it by the frequency of entries. For instance, um, archiving has five. There are five blog entries related to archiving. So if I was to re reorder this list of topics, uh, archiving would kind of pop to the top because uh, most of the entries only have one or two or three. Uh, most of the keywords or labels only have uh, one, two, or three blog articles about them. However, uh, the archiving has five articles. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice way to uh, make your content uh, very accessible to people. So uh, let's get back to uh, where it is in Blogger that you can do this. It's uh, basically by these labels, this label area. And uh, as we were saying before, you can publish post or you can save it. 
let me shorten up the window here because it may be, may be uh, dropping you out. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, so um, again, you can preview your blog. First techno track, you can publish it. Um, Compose actually uh, allows you to do with, like things like bold. But largest. I used rebirth and reason, so you can uh, do a couple wacky stuff like that. And uh, back to edit HTML, you can see that it puts in uh, some of these HTML tags. This is a span tag. It's just setting the font size. Um, basically, it's uh, the more hands-on way to it, to modify your text that we did in Compose. So Compose is the uh, non-HTML coder's way of, uh, of making your text look interesting. Now we've uh, edited our first entry here. Um, edit posts. I'm just going to say cancel that because I didn't want to edit it. I didn't want to add my new post. But uh, if we look here, I have a bunch of entries. and. Um, moving my RAID set to a new box, collision, uh, XMS error, multi-threading, first impressions. So these are all blog entries. And uh, if you look to the right, they're actually uh, the dated. They're dated here. And I could delete one. I'm going to delete my first techno track. You know, are you sure you want to delete this post? I say yes. Delete it. I can edit an entry. And if I click that, I just go back to my entry. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. I'm just going to go back to edit posts. I can view it. That pops up a new window. Oh, look, I got to my blog entry. And then I can also open it right there with the little twisty. And I can do a quick read right there without leaving the page. That's a nice feature. Now the labels on the left hand side here are for you to find a post that you wrote. So labels have a, another interesting uh, utility which is to, um, once you get a lot of them, like I'm starting to get actually, uh, let's say I wanted to find my blog entries on AVI Demux 2. These are my two entries where I discuss AVI Demux 2. So it's kind of interesting uh, that you can get directly to an entry by using the labels here on the left hand side of the page. Now if you moderate comments on your blog, which I do not, this is where you would go to moderate your comments. 